Every year there are 9 billion food animals killed in the United States. Most of these animals are fed antibiotics throughout their life. In fact, this is the single greatest use of antibiotics in the United States. Now if we wanted to find the most efficient way to make bacteria resistant to antibiotics, this would be the perfect way to do it. Now if you take a cow or a chicken and give it access to pasture, give it space, give it a clean natural environment, there's no way that animal would need any antibiotics. But most of these 9 billion animals that we raise every year are raised in concentrated feeding operations where the animals are unnaturally crowded into small spaces. They're basically bathed in their own feces and will surely get a disease unless we give them antibiotics in their food to prevent the disease. So in order to get cheap meat, we are risking the very survival of human life by continually selecting for antibiotic resistant bacteria. If these types of operations were banned, it would be good for the environment. Animals raised on pasture can actually make the land more fertile. These concentrated feeding operations create an ecological dead zone. I don't know if you've ever been near one of these places, but I have, and this smell alone can knock you over. Now another benefit if we got rid of these operations would be there would be more jobs created. The factory farms concentrate the animals into a small space for efficiency and this lowers labor costs. But by moving back to real farms away from the factory farms, we'll need more farmers and it would give, give us millions of more jobs. Moving back to real farms would also reduce the cruel treatment of animals that exist on these factory farms. But the most important reason may be that the traditional farm might stop this insane practice of giving healthy animals antibiotics their whole life, which is selecting for germs that one, one day may decimate the human population. Now, if you like this information, Please subscribe to our channel. This is Dr. Gerhauser. Thanks for watching.